think I'm going to give you my bar today. What? We have a deal. Yeah, well, that was yesterday. Oh, what happened today? Your stepdaughter. She inspired me. By running away? By not giving in to you. You're so used to pushing people around. I think it's time you felt what it's like when someone pushes back. You can't win. Maybe. Maybe not. Today, I watched you march into my bar, acting like you own the place. And you know what? I didn't like it. And I realized if I sign this piece of paper, you will own this place, and that I really don't like. This is my bar. It's my home. It's my life. Sure, it's seen better days, but that doesn't mean it won't have better days again. And just because life isn't what you want it to be right now, doesn't mean you should tear it down. I started thinking about all the things I want to do and have that I'm not doing or having. Excuse me. This is 10th and Oak, right? Uh-huh. Shouldn't there be a cemetery right here? Not that I know of. Been like this long as I can remember. And now everyone in this neighborhood seems to have given up imagining what a better life might look like. If we can admit to ourselves what we want is out there somewhere, well, then maybe we can fight for it. Yeah, and if we do that, then we're halfway to getting it. That's the thing about the people of this town. Things can seem hopeless. When suddenly, Someone gives the rest of us inspiration. Because the first step to a new beginning is imagining that one is even possible. How to be damned. I stand by to let a bully like you take that away from us anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me. You'll regret this, Ronnie. Uh, doubtful. Regret's not really my thing.